Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm gonna make this short and sweet, right? So this is for people who feel like they're having a problem getting their message out and you know getting people to take action and convert. And I encourage you to look at your post or look at whatever you know platform that you're doing your publishing on and make sure that you're not talking about features, but instead you're talking about benefits. Because it's the same, people are always tuned into station WIFM, and that's what's in it for me. So whenever you put out your sales message, you have to have a voice in your head that says, but why, but why, but why don't I need that? So like, for example, or but why do I need that, I mean. For example, when I write my copy for my sales pages or whatever, I, I imagine that I'm in like a courtroom, and whenever I make a statement, someone says objection why you know um uh and i basically in my mind i overcome those objections so i'll write like my first draft and then i'll go back and i'll read it and then i'll be the critic in my own head and say oh that's bs and then i'll go and i'll say you're probably thinking that's bs but let me show you why it's not you get what i'm saying so you want to think you want to kind of pre-plan all the objections that uh, 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 a person can have when viewing your content and I'll tell you a quick example um, my sister she she does e-commerce now but she's been a graphic designer for years and a couple of years ago um, she made a post and was saying that um, if you're you need to make sure that your website is mobile optimized if it's not contact me and I'll do that for you in a nutshell that's basically what the post said and she was wondering why she didn't get any takers, right? And nobody bit. And so I told her that, you know, a lot of these business owners, especially people who are offline, don't know about mobile optimized, don't know why they should care. You're basically telling them the feature and not the benefit. So I told her to rewrite it and tell people why that matters. So we ended up rewriting the post and it says something along the lines like, do you know you could be missing out on up to 70% of your revenue because uh, visitors are coming to a website that's not set up properly. And so that piqued interest, like, oh, I'm, I can be missing out on 70% of you know potential income. So people click, they went to you know the capture page or went to the uh, presentation video or whatever, and it drove traffic. Because you have to tell people, what does that mean? Why, why, do I, why should I care that my website is not mobile optimized? Right. So I give you that example because a lot of people are out here, you know, whether it's uh, credit repair or it's um, some type of uh, nutritional thing that they're selling, um, you know, some type of MLM or whatever it is. Do not sell the features. Don't tell them, you know, how long the company's been around and, you know, how many customers the company gets and blah, blah, blah. Those facts are important for a person who's already in. You know, and you can kind of like brush them up on that and say, hey, you know, you're in good hands, you know, at that point, And you can give them all those facts and figures. But when you're peaking interest, you got to tell somebody right off the bat, I got something that's going to solve a problem for you. And so if you find yourself not really getting um, the response from your post that you're putting out there, make sure that you look at your content, you look at your copy and make sure that you are telling people why to care or why that matters, how to directly affects their income, you know, directly affects their growth, um, whatever. So that's just a quick tip. Do not come out here and plaster your, the name of your company all over the place because people are just going to go straight to YouTube or Google and you know do their own research, right? So that's the whole pro that's the whole purpose of a funnel. You want to funnel people through your entire sales process. And you do that by simply telling them why they should take the next step and the next step and the next step and the next step. All right, so I hope that you uh, got some value from this post. Leave comments below if you got any um, questions. And uh, I'll be cutting more videos like this, so stay tuned.